Hey everybody, it's Johnny and I'm back and I've got a really small but good video today and I'm going to show you how to replace the, um, the relay on a Roland S50 and um, get that back up and running again and I've done this relay uh, fix on um, my S50 which you can see behind me here and um, I do actually uh, sell the, the relay part uh, for the S50 and um, a lot of people ask me, well, how do I put this in once I once I have it? And it does involve a little bit of soldering. So um, uh, someone actually sent me an S50 board to do the relay change on uh, right here. So I'm going to just show you um, where the part is, how to pull it out, how to put in the new relay, and uh, some of the soldering tips you can use to do it to just make it a little easier for yourself. And uh, yeah, that'll hopefully get your S50 back up and running. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. Here's the relay board, the board with the relay on it. You can see the old relay right here. And uh, we're gonna pull that out and put in a new part. Okay, so here we have the S50 output board uh, pulled out of the unit. And you can see the old relay here. And um, yeah, that is the cause of your noise on the output. So what Roland did is they put actually a relay on the output of, um, in between the output signals on the board. And what would happen is the relay would remain uh, open while the unit was turning on. And then as soon as it actually was activated, the relays would kick in and uh, activate the outputs. And this was just to prevent um, a noise pop when you powered on the unit. And that's actually really all it was for. So to be honest, it's actually not really super necessary. You could just literally take it out and and just like, you know, jumper the, the outputs and you, you would be fine. But um, just to be safe, the probably the best thing to do is actually to replace it. And, and the reason why it goes bad is because um, this is actually an unsealed relay. Um, so underneath this cover, I can get it off. There you go. Um, you can see that actually there's um, little tiny metal pins and actually those oxidize over time, especially over like 30 years or 40 years uh, since 1986, 87 when these were produced. So, um, you know, over that time these oxidize and then the contact's not that good and it actually um, just makes this weird distortion sound on the output. It's pretty, pretty bad actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a pair of side cutters, uh, which I have here. And the best thing to do is just to cut out the old relay first because um, it's pretty much useless. You're not going to use it any again. The reason also to do that instead of just desoldering it in place is, as you can see, uh, the board is a one-sided board. So these traces here are actually um, super fragile and they're pretty close. Um, connections as well so you know you don't want to use a lot of heat or you're gonna lift those traces up and just make a mess out of it um, which I've seen I had a few boards sent back to me that were kind of just mangled by bad soldering so the best thing to do um, is to just actually pull out this relay um, just by cutting it at the base of the feet so I'm just taking this, these side clippers I'm gonna cut cut it um, out be too hard. Okay, there we have it. I've cut out the old relay, you can see. Um, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna throw that away. It's pretty much useless to us now. And we've got the space there um, just with the, the leads and so now when I um, desolder from the other side here it's going to make it pretty simple to just pull those out um, and so we're going to do that.
I've completed the job now. I've got the, the new relay um, component in and um, I just put some black tape on the other side of the leads there uh, just to protect it from the underside of the circuit board just so they don't short out. And I also just put a bit of black tape around the relay um, just so those don't pop out um, when you're moving this other around so those are in pretty good. And yeah, so I'm just about to uh, stick it into the S50 and see how it sounds. Okay, here we have the S50 and I'm gonna power it up and let's have a listen to the board. Okay, there we have the S50 powered up. Hit going to load the system. Version 2. And see if we get any sounds of this thing. You could uh, tell. Um, on the old versions, the relay um, usually um, sort of glitched out a little bit when you played at uh, like a, a louder volume or just more expressively. I can tell by hitting it hard here that, that the relay is good. So yeah, so that's um, a good working board. And yeah, another uh, repair done to another S50 back, back in the studio, back in service. All right, thanks for watching the video on the replacement of the relay on the S50. Uh, glad to get that one uh, serviced and back in the studio. And yeah, stay tuned. I've got some great new videos coming up, uh, some really good interviews, some stuff you're going to be um, super um, excited about um, with some vintage synths. So um, yeah, I've got some new content on the way, just waiting to finish some of it off. So I'm really excited to get some new videos to you guys soon. All right, take it easy.